Alrighty, so I asked and y'all delivered some questions for this Q&A. Let's go ahead and kick this off. Michael Corvin starts us by asking, how has Summer handled the news about Roman Reigns? Devastated. Devastated. But inspired, and she's got her boys back. And she proceeds to go chew a bone, lick her butt. You know, do what dogs do. I mean, life still has to go on. But he'll be back. And so will she. The cooler mascot, Frankie the Parrot or Matilda the Bulldog? For me, Frankie the Parrot was cool. Matilda the Bulldog was a fucking bulldog. And to this day, one of my favorite breeds of pooches is a bulldog. And it is directly owed to Matilda, later Winston, the British Bulldogs. It's gotta be, for me, Matilda the Bulldog. Kieran Chase, if you ever met Double J, what would you say to him or ask him? Here, here's a way we can cross-reference everything and give you one big fuck you. I'd ask him, why do you think it's okay that Ray Lewis got away with a double murder and everybody fucking celebrates him like he's some type of God? Oh, he found the Lord! Oh, praise God! What he didn't find, though, was his white suit. Imagine that. There. You mess with the bull. You get the fucking horns! Mountie's Corner. Why under your search history did it say Jeff Jarrett's workout routine? Number one... I'm using search history like that. I'm going incognito, motherfucker. Number two, it's going to be porn. Ain't talking about any type of workout routine. And why are you trying to look at another guy's search history? Just saying. You're married now. You got you a white girl. Y'all should be doing what white people do. Reading the menu out loud to each other on a Sunday morning at Cracker Barrel. Standing with long agape pauses of wonder and magnificent at the big display of Duke's mayonnaise at Walmart. Eating potato salad with raisins in it. Unseasoned chicken. By God, when you're feeling nuts, you're going to bring the salt and the pepper. But black pepper is white people. That's to be reasonable. That's what you should be doing. And trying to put daughters in her. Because I already gave you the jinx. You're not having a son. It's three girls! How the fuck you should be doing? Unbelievable. These kids nowadays. Fuck Canadians. Ridiculous. Mid Carter J. Do you feel ashamed you share the first name as Double J? No, why should I? Because he's the one that fucking sucks! Brian Walmer. Thoughts on the A-double Johnny Impact situation at Bound for Glory? One of those fucking type of work shoot things that really doesn't move the needle at all and just seems really dumb and stupid, if I'm being completely honest here. But where's the payoff? What's the point? Just dumb to me. Horror Movie Review 73. How does Kane get booked badly and stay with WWE, yet Wade Barrett doesn't? Kane has two decades plus of work with the WWE. There's a loyalty and a trust factor there from Vince McMahon with Kane. Kane is what you call one of those good soldiers. Wade Barrett, every time the company would try and sort of invest in him, he'd get fucking hurt. And then at a time where the company's not trying to make stars, Kane was already an established name with a following, so hard to figure out really. James Forkham. Will Braun Strowman ever be a world champion? Maybe sooner than you anticipated. And it will be a big thud and dud. Real at a Bawale. Would you rather watch Impact Wrestling or Bray Wyatt's child support hearing? Like, how is this even a question? And this is by no means an insult to Impact Wrestling. But you're talking about another run of the mill wrestling show or watching Bray Wyatt squirm in a child support hearing. Bound for glory, child support hearing. 
I know what I'm paying for on pay-per-view if I can afford it because it's my child support. And sure as hell isn't going to be bound for glory. I'm just saying. Song goes to Name a wrestler you knew would be a big star and they did it. And one you thought would be, but wasn't. Um, frankly, I thought Ryback was going to be a big deal because there were a lot of things where, to me, he tick marked and checked the boxes for WWE, and it didn't happen. And it felt like just when they were getting to that point where they could have, it didn't happen. And the guy that I saw, and instantly I'm like, that's a megastar, was Batista. That's the most recent example. I look at him and I'm like, that dude's going to be something. That dude's going to be a star. Ben, is this the worst WWE has ever been creatively? If it's not, I'd like to know what is. You know, you'll hear about that time frame from 93 to 95. But even in that time frame, you'd still have things like the Bret and Owen storyline. You know, Razor and Shawn Michaels, who's the real Intercontinental Champion? What the hell does this era have? Ugh. L-A-L-T-87, <clears throat> excuse me, what is God's greatest miracle? Like, how do you choose miracles? Maybe you would say by default the miracle that he can find a seven-figure payday every year come WrestleMania time. When in doubt, God will spread the wealth, but will also make sure he protects and gets hits. Um, so yeah, there are lots of magnificent miracles. Ugh. But that's probably the one. Seven-figure payout every year for WrestleMania. Thomas Farmer, how long do you think Ronda Rousey will stay in WWE? I would anticipate probably, what, another two, maybe three years at most? She'll have a run, and then she'll go away and go have ugly babies. Hug life for life, how long will it take for another boom period in wrestling? Well, I've been waiting about 17 years now. Keep waiting. Ain't happening. Sorry. Daniel William Clark, would you consider watching a wrestling event? You otherwise wouldn't if someone was front row rocking an OTR Essential t-shirt. Yes! Goddamn right I would. Make it happen. Buy the damn shirt. You guys do that. I'll watch whatever the hell wrestling show you want me to. I don't care. Casey Pena, who do you hate more, Dolph Ziggler or Finn Balor? Well... I think Vin Balor is overrated as bricks. His fanboy cuck fucks are annoying as hell. But in the grand scheme of things, I don't hate Finn Balor per se. And he's just a minor annoyance and inconvenience. Or I've had to listen to year after year after year of people trying to pretend like Dolph Ziggler was some type of big star or some type of real true blue talent or somebody that this company should really truly get behind and make him a multiple time world champion and build their franchise around him and all this other hot garbage. Dolph Ziggler sucks. Fuck Dolph Ziggler. Excuse me. Gotta do it right. <laughs> Fuck Dolph Ziggler. Spooky Lava. Thoughts on the WWE sending out a survey asking about a $15 premium version of the network. Would make sense. You have different buckets. You could have a lower tier, even if you want to do five dollars a month, standard tier of nine ninety nine, and then do like a fifteen or twenty dollar bucket. Sounds like basic business to me. I am curious what they would offer in the premium version that isn't there on the standard one now. Maybe they would do exclusive premium show. I don't know. Um, I don't have an issue with it. It always feels like they kind of underprice themselves at that uh, $9.99 price point. Dream over. What you think about Fox wanting more sport and less comedy from WWE? Well, it's not like they're doing a lot of good comedy anyways. I mean, they're trying to make it as though they want WWE to fill that UFC void and you fill that UFC gap and be UFC and UFC does professional wrestling. Vastly greater than WWE does today. Um, I, I think here's the thing. It's like, from a network standpoint, they have an idea, a vision, and kind of what they want in their portfolio, and that makes sense. It's like, to me, I would think if I'm Fox, I just want the shit to be good. I want it to draw more eyeballs. 
if it's more sport, less comedy, and less bullshit, and draws half the viewers, then your programming model is stupid. Eric Dennis, do you fancy a game of Gwent? Well, again, what the fuck is this? Why do you keep asking about this? And I don't know that anybody has actually effectively answered this. And look at my schleg titties bouncing up and down. This is actually quite impressive. Look at that. Look at that. That's something else, isn't it? God damn. I gotta start working out again. Oh my goodness. The Chris Phoenix. Did you ever think the state of wrestling would get this bad? This bad? From my perspective? Maybe, maybe not. Once Vince bought out WCW, ECW, and they ceased to exist, I knew it wasn't going to be good for the business. And long term, there were going to be major significant ramifications. But did I ever think it was going to truly get to this point? No. And the King closes us off. Who is more badass, Bruiser Brody or Haku? Haku will pick people up by the nostrils and rip their eyeballs out of socket. Bruiser Brody got stabbed in a shower and is dead. Haku will sit there and open his mouth and take pepper spray and keep going. Bruiser Brody is dead. Who the fuck you think is more badass? Just saying. But anyways, that's it for this Q&A. That was a lot of fun. A little shorter than I thought it was going to be. But thanks to all of you again who submitted your questions. I'm the Schleg Daddy. This is OTRS Central. Remember, not the wrestling show you want, just the wrestling show you need. I'm out of here.